Uh, hello everybody, um, I'm back today, it's been a long time since I've recorded a tutorial on this account. I've been gone for a while, I've been, well, I've been editing more actually, that's a good thing. Got some inspiration lately, but, um, I'm about to start making these tutorials again for you guys. So, um, recently I got requests on YouTube for, um, my Twitch settings that I used in my past couple of edits. And, um, oh, and I also will remake a, uh, not remake, but make a, uh, yes. and in this one. Let's get into it. Alright, so we got our composition right here. And, um, let me show you the settings if that matters at all. I normally edit a 720p, six, I mean 30 frames. But once I'm done with the edit, um, I just render it in 60 frames. So, yeah. So let's just, let's just get a quick place where we would, where we would want to, uh, slice our clip. So we got our clip right here. Um, all we would have to do is to go to Effect, Video Copilot, Twitch. Now here's the big part of this: my settings. So I enable Blur, Slide, Scale, and Light. Light. I typically don't do anything with color because we don't need that much color. So I changed my amount to about 32 and my speed to 31. And I keyframe it about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, between 9 to 7 frames. This time I'm going to use 8. So we turn it all the way down to 0. We have this. Um, and I mostly use this uh, in combo with uh, brightness and contrast. So I get, like, you know, this. I just keyframe this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Change it to zero. Yeah, that's it. And normally, I add a little scale with it, you know, so it just doesn't look like a crusty piece of twitch. And, and I normally keep um, most of my clips zoomed in. This is just a tip. So whenever I do my zoom outs, I don't show too much motion tile. Just a tip. I'm, I may make an updated uh, zooming out tutorial. So, yeah. If y'all want that, just let me know. Right. <laughs> so there it is. My Twitch settings, basically. So, um... If you guys like this tutorial, please drop a like and subscribe for more. I will be making more tutorials in a much shorter time frame. Again, I'm sorry. I've been busy lately. I mean, but I've started editing again, so that's a plus. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys and have a nice day.